Hey everyone, Danny Hogger here. Thanks for coming in and checking out my second pinball video related to the At Games 4KP. This time, I installed the SSF. The surround sound is in my 4KP. How long did it take? I looked at Wagner's video, roughly 20 minutes. I could be off by a few. It took me three hours, and I wanted to talk to you about why my back hurts, I'm frustrated, uh, and my pinball machine sounds better than it did before and let you judge for yourself. I'm not gonna pin this all on at games because I'll tell you up front, I'm a bit of a novice when it comes to engineering, putting things together, assembling. Um, I follow instructions very slowly. First thing I suggest is put the settings on 75% because you're going to need a close view of some of the shots that he does. One of the things I had to stop for most frequently was when he would plug in something. I wanna know the orientation left to right of like what is the black part of the cable on the left or the right because I know those things can make a difference. Occasionally, things go in one way and you know when there's resistance to flip it around. Other times, you're not so sure. And some of these cables are the most gentle, um, delicate cables I've ever seen, like the display cable that connects your monitor, the play field. I've never seen something so fragile looking before and I had to get my wife to back me up so that I could hold the monitor in place. Wagner re recommends having two people. Um, definitely want that for certain parts and I just thought I would break it because I was at the point two hours in getting so frustrated and sore and tired. Let's talk overall about some things that are um, easy, some things that are difficult. Um, one, I had installed the control panel to my unit, the joystick and buttons. That was really easy to me. I thought that was like a two out of ten on the difficulty spectrum. This I would call an eight and there's just a few reasons for that. Um, there's a couple crossbars in the machine that actually block your access to getting down and putting a couple of the exciter speakers in. You'll notice here in front of me I've got some extra screws because there's just some angles that I could not get my right hand or left hand down under and holding to a position to apply that screw. So if you've got a nice um, set of tools that's going to help you with this. If you've got a screwdriver that allows you some flexibility or allows you like a 90 degree turn, that would be helpful. Uh, a couple other things. <laughs> Having a second person is recommended by the instructions. And I think it would have been better just to get some judgment from somebody else, a sounding board, if you will, to answer some questions or clarify things as the way you think you're under going to understand them, because you're going to end up making some wrong turns along the way. And um, just it's nice before your reverse course. Also, if you're using two people and you call somebody for help, like remind people not to get fingerprints on the glass. I mean, it seems obvious, but I tried to really minimize my contact as I removed the play field glass and put it back. You don't want to get hairs and dust like trapped underneath. We ended up flipping it once on a suggestion of my helper, which was not really helpful. Like she thought maybe the glass was thinner on one side than the other. Wagner doesn't go over those kinds of details. He just does it the right way, which is great. If you follow him and can stand the instructions and just work one piece at a time, it does go well. But I want to also suggest because his videos are, are excellent and I, I take them gratefully with the help of, of putting something like this together. But I think his hands might be a bit small. Like I remember the video, one of the videos of him on the pinball machine, he had to get a step stool to get over the top. If he's maybe a smaller stature person, then his hands and fingers are smaller and that's gonna make this job much easier. I can palm a basketball. I'm six feet, like 190 pounds. And I had such a tough time getting the two cables from the two boards to go together because you're working down low, so you're already like a foot away. You can't really get your eyes in close enough. And it's really hard to get your hand at an angle to manipulate a cable and put it in sideways when it's low and it's directly across from the thing you're connecting. So you're not getting much slack. You're not getting much room to work with. And it was so frustrating because uh, in some ways it's frustrating because Wagner's video is so good that you don't see what the follies are and that you're going to have to take a few minutes for each step. So don't get frustrated if you find yourself pausing. Honestly, I might put his video at half speed and you might be annoyed that you're moving quicker, but at some points it's going to be helpful to really lock in and see what's going on on the screen. Also at the end, why do I have an extra bag of screws? Not just these extra exciter screws, which I explained sometimes I couldn't get access to a hole and I but I've got a full bag of lockdown bar screws. The lockdown bar screws you remove from the lock bar when you disassemble. 
And you still have them at the end. So what's this for? What did I do? And what did I do wrong? When you put the play field back in the glass, there's also the two connectors that are on either side of the display cord. Which one goes where? Maybe it would have been nice to label that. This is coming from the top of the screen. This is coming from the bottom. I might have some blue painter's tape with you. Here's my suggestions. That's one of them. Have some blue painter's tape to label a couple things and a Sharpie nearby. Two, Wagner suggests having a Ziploc to put all the parts in that you're removing. I would suggest three. One for the lockdown bars, one for the control panel, and one for anything remainder, just so you don't mix them all up at once. Maybe you're like, Danny, it's not that hard, man. You can see what different screws are and why they serve different purposes, but I really think that would have helped as well. I'm trying to get your time down under three hours. It shouldn't take that long. How long did it take you? Put it down in the comments. How long do you think it's gonna take you? Put it down in the comments, come back later and see if you were right. It was not easy. It was the most difficult assembly in video game arcade home stuff that I've ever done. It takes longer than an arcade one up. It takes longer than assembling the whole At Games 4KP machine. There's just a lot to it. And you end up taking apart a ton of things like the backboard. I didn't know we were gonna take the backboard cover off and have to remove a cable. Didn't take that long. But again, there's another eight screws we're removing. Might be good to have another bag for that. Um, and then just a lot of it is the physical stress on your body that you're, you're doing this. I'm, I don't have back pain normally, but getting down low so frequently uh, and then all the time I spent wrenched in and applying pressure in weird ways really uh, made my back sore and you don't get much relief because you're still like 20 steps away from completing the project. Uh, would I pay at games $50 to install this? Yes. Would I want to wait three weeks for that? No. I'm glad I have mine when I got mine. There was a comment on my last video that I got it early. I think I got it along with people who got it and received it in the first wave. Look, I paid for my machine. I don't have a relationship with the company. Uh, I didn't do any influencer exchanges. I didn't get a discount. I think I just got it when other California people got it in NorCal. So sorry if that upsets you, but um, that seems to be the way it goes. Maybe it came into the port of Long Beach or San Francisco and I was just closer. Um, there was no favoritism there, but I wouldn't have wanted to wait another month to get it. Same thing with like, I'm bummed that the Zen store isn't up yet, that the App Store X store isn't up yet, that my pre-orders aren't here yet. I'm still glad I have it though. Like if they had said, hey, do you want your machine early just to play the 15 tables it comes with? I would say, yeah, for sure. And I'm having a good time. And I'll say this too, that after the three hours, I was pretty frustrated. But when I got the system on and it was working and I could hear the pinball rolling around, which I wouldn't be able to demonstrate well for you here in a video, it sounds way better. It sounds like much more like a real pinball machine with like action. It sounds like there's weight moving around, like there's mass moving, it feels like there's a real pinball in there. It was worth it. And it was worth it for the discounted price too. So I can't sit here and be mad at at games like, why don't you just install it yourself? Sure, that would have been great. But they were honest, it would take longer. Don't want that. Um, would it cost 50 bucks? Would have been worth it. I would have paid somebody 50 bucks to do it for me, especially once I was halfway through and it was only an hour and a half away from finishing it and I was already like really hurting with my back. I'm hunched right now and I'm missing the Kings game because it took me so long to put this darn thing together. Even with all that said, I'm pretty excited, still pretty happy. Um, maybe you call me like an optimist or that I have like rose colored glasses or whatever. But if that were true, um, Maybe I would have more people following my music, which is where we end today. Check out Danny Hogger Music on iTunes. Uh, they call it Apple Music now, don't they? Bandcamp. All those places, Spotify. Please support my music. Like, share, subscribe. If you want me to make more pinball videos, put it down in the comments. If you want me to stop making pinball, just uh, keep it to yourself. You know, we don't need the negativity. Thanks, P-Dubs, for um, letting me post the video link in the last description. I hope these tips were helpful. If you have any more tips for people installing the SSF, put it down below. Until then, I'm out of here. Gone on long enough. Be well, be safe, be kind. Danny Hogger signing off. See you guys later. Bye.